looking for a luxurious fifth wheel? Well, we were, and we found it, and it's just heaven in here. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're taking a look at luxury fifth wheels. Now, luxury fifth wheels are really amazing. They have incredible floor plans, amazing amenities, incredible trim, lighting, designs, and we're going to show them all to you today. Now, if this is your first time visiting us on our YouTube channel, welcome aboard. We make all kinds of videos all about RVing and we also have our website rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing as well. Today we're taking a look at luxurious fifth wheels and we found some really really amazing models out there so rather than listen to me talk about them let's get started with our reviews right now. This luxury fifth wheel is Keystone's Montana High Country. It weighs about 13,200 pounds and it's about 41 feet long but it is full of great, amazing features, and we really, really like this RV. One really cool feature is that it has two entrances, one on each side of the RV. You'll notice that there's one behind me here, and then there's another one towards the other end of the kitchen. So, kind of unusual in that regard. We normally don't see fifth wheels that have doors on both sides of them. Another really nice feature with this particular fifth wheel is that it's got a center kitchen, and this kitchen is really fantastic. It's got a U-shape to it, so you can really maximize the amount of counter space that you have. It's got a large double bowl sink, big old gooseneck faucet over top, a window over top of the sink. Then, of course, you've got a three burner range, oven down below, microwave above. And then right across from the kitchen area, you've got your dinette. And we really like this setup because everything's in the kitchen that's supposed to be in the kitchen. It's not like you're sharing your kitchen with your entertainment area. They're two separate areas. So nice size dinette. This could also convert into a bed. And then of course we have a residential style refrigerator. Also in the kitchen area there are is just tons and tons of cabinet space. We've got a ceiling fan overhead. Since the kitchen's in the middle of this fifth wheel you have tons of headroom and it really just makes this whole kitchen feel very open and luxurious. So in this luxurious fifth wheel the living area is at the front of the fifth wheel so headspace isn't too bad. It's a, I'm 5'11 I've got about five inches over my head so decent amount of headroom up here but what we really like about it is it's just its own separate area it's nice and cozy it's got three couches Two of them fold out into sofa beds, and then the other is like movie seating that has electric controls to put out the foot rests. Very, very high quality, very nice setup. And then the main feature, of course, in the living area is going to be your TV and your fireplace down below. What we really like about this setup is the TV is on a televator, and so it'll go up and down, and behind the TV, is a really nice sized window as well. So the bathroom is a really large sized bathroom. It's got about a four foot shower in here. There's a shower seat and plenty of headroom. I mean, I can't even touch the ceiling. Uh, nice sized vanity, medicine cabinet, everything you need inside the bathroom. Come on up, let's check out the bunkhouse. While this room up here may not exactly be called a bunkhouse, we're gonna call it a bunkhouse because it kind of is. Kids can come up here, plenty of room for them all. It's a playroom as well as a bunkhouse and uh, we just think it's this is a fabulous floor plan for a fifth wheel. So here we are in the master bedroom now and as you can see this is a really nice sized room. We have a king sized bed in here which is fantastic. Little window on each side of the bed which is a very very nice feature. Then at the very uh, back here you've got Really nice wardrobe feature, mirror doors, plenty of room to hang things, uh, so you've got a lot of storage in here. In addition, we have this built-in chest of drawers, so you have plenty of drawer space as well. On the other side of the master bedroom, there's also another storage cabinet, and it has a hookup for washer and dryer in there, so instead of just having it as storage, you could put a washer and dryer in there as well. We think this is a really fantastic luxury 
fifth wheel option. This luxury fifth wheel is by a company called Alliance RV. It's their Paradigm model and it is super, super luxury. It is a fantastic fifth wheel with all kinds of features that you've probably never seen in a fifth wheel before. We'll go ahead and walk through it, but one of the best things we like about it right off the bat is the floor plan in the kitchen and living area. It's very nice and open and spacious and it has huge windows. It has a very, very open feel. Come on down and let's check out the living area. So the living area of this fifth wheel feels very nice and open. You can see that we have a nice sized TV here with a gorgeous fireplace down below. Now, one of the things that Alliance has done is tried to make storage space everywhere in this RV. You can actually pull the fireplace out and there's actually storage behind it for pillows and blankets and things like that. So there's tons of cabinetry. Everything in here is just super high quality. You'll notice it has the slow close cabinetry. I mean, just a really nice feature that you would not expect to find in an RV. You'd expect to find a feature like that at home in a high-end kitchen. Also though, we have a sofa, which converts into a sofa bed. On this side of the living area, we have some nice comfy reclining chairs that are electronic. And also, you'll notice behind me, this gigantic picture window. I've never seen windows this big in a fifth wheel before especially up here in the living and the kitchen area. The kitchen area is really nice and big. I mean, this is a gigantic kitchen island. It's got a huge single deep bowl sink, gooseneck faucet. Over top, we have our beautiful pendant lighting. Very nice trim detail above that. I mean, everything in here is just super fine and high quality. Uh, you have a four burner range here, not a three burner, so that's a really nice feature. A full large oven microwave over top and there's just storage everywhere they've just tried to fit everything they possibly could in here to create as much storage space as possible you'll also notice a really nice feature that you'll typically only find in high quality kitchen and that is the two-tone cabinetry color so in some part of the kitchen we have this lighter color cabinetry and then other parts like on the island and on the storage area over here we have the darker cabinetry so it's a very nice mix that you would only expect to find in your higher quality kitchens at home. Also, it's got a residential sized refrigerator, which we always think is a great idea. Plenty of space, plenty of room for all the things that go in the fridge and the freezer. And then of course you have your pantry area. You could set up your coffee pots over here. Tons and tons of storage everywhere. Just a fantastic setup in this particular fifth wheel. So here we are at the bathroom and you can see that it is incredibly luxurious, very high end. The shower itself has large tiles. It's got a beautiful seat with teak wood, uh, chrome polish fittings. It has a rain head, rain shower head. Very, very nice setup. The vanity area is a super high quality epoxy countertop a deep bowl sink, plenty of beautiful cabinetry space, just a really, really nice high quality bathroom setup. Okay, so here we are in the master bedroom and this particular room is very large. It's got a king size bed, very nice setup. It's got USB charging ports on either side of the bed with a little platform. You can stick your phone there overnight. Windows on either end, windows overhead, just a really fantastic setup. This closet space is huge. You can almost walk in here, but plenty of space in the wardrobe area to hang things, plus additional shelving behind that. Uh, just a lot of space in general. This is a really nice oversized closet, but it could also uh, serve to be where your washer and dryer go because there is a washer and dryer hookup inside this closet as well. Over top, we have a nice TV that you can watch while you're laying in bed, relaxing. More window space. Then we have a built-in set of drawers. And the really nice feature here is the hide a drawer. Put some jewelry in here, throw your watch in here, whatever. But it's a really nice feature to have. This is a very luxurious RV. 
we think uh, it's one of the best ones that we've seen out there. We love this fifth wheel. This particular fifth wheel that is a luxury fifth wheel is a Jayco North Point. It weighs about 13,500 pounds and it's about 42 feet long. But what we really like about this particular fifth wheel is the layout of it. It's got the living room in the middle, so you have a nice high ceiling feel. It's a very rich interior. The kitchen is at the front of the fifth wheel and the master bedroom is at the back. And we'll take a look around, but we just love this floor plan. It, it really is different from what we normally see and uh, it's just got a rich, luxurious feel to it. As you can see here in the living room area, it's got a nice entertainment area, good size TV, sound bar, and a beautiful fireplace down below. There are three couches out here that are super comfy. The ones on either side of me both fold out and become sofa beds. And then there are a really nice recliner that can be heated. It's got a massage function to it. You have the lighted cup holders, just super nice. The interior also has very nice trim, lots of really nice woodwork to it, and plenty of windows in here as well. So it just has a very open feel. So from here, let's take a, a walk up into the kitchen and we'll check out the front of this luxurious fifth wheel. Okay, so when you first walk up into the kitchen, the first thing you notice is this booth style dinette area, which has an L-shaped booth, which is really unusual. Great seating for two. If you had three or four, you'd probably need a couple of other chairs in here to make it work. But it's really a nice setup, very rich and luxurious looking. It's got a couple of pendant lights over top of the table, which just really add to the overall feel. Also in the kitchen, right away, you've got a TV here, so you can watch TV while you're eating dinner. And then just below the TV is where the microwave is. And let's go a little deeper into the kitchen to check it out as well. So up here in the kitchen area, uh, it's got a three burner stove, nice overhead fan and an oven down below. What I like though is that it's got tons of counter space all around it and even a window over top of the range area. Very, very nice feel in this part of the kitchen. I think this is our favorite part of the kitchen which is at the very front of this fifth wheel. You've got a huge countertop space and a deep double bowl sink, big old gooseneck faucet. But what we really like is the big window over top of the kitchen sink. And then it even has a plant ledge down below. So it's just got that at home kind of luxurious kitchen feeling to it. Over here, we have more countertop space, more storage in the corners. A nice little pantry area for lots of storage. And then as we wrap around the kitchen, we finish up with a residential style refrigerator. And this is the first one that we've seen so far that has an ice maker and water in the door. So thumbs up on that. Very, very nice feel. Nice as your kitchen at home, maybe even nicer, probably nicer than ours. We have to get new appliances. So this is a really fantastic layout up here. Now let's take a walk back downstairs. We'll go on the other side of the living room. We'll take a look at the master bathroom and master bedroom. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom. Uh, it is considered the master bathroom, but it also is the bathroom for the whole entire fifth wheel. But really, uh, it's a good size. The shower is about four feet wide, has the semi-frameless shower glass doors, which are very nice. There's also a, a seat inside the shower. Plenty of headroom in here since, you know, we're at the back of the RV, so no concerns there whatsoever. Uh, in the vanity area, it's got a medicine cabinet, towel hooks, another towel ring over here, and then, of course, the vanity itself looks really nice. Deep bowl sink, not quite as big as I would like because Susan always nails me for getting water all over the place, but anyway... Nice sink, nice faucet, plenty of storage down below. On the other side of the bathroom, we have even more storage space up above the commode. And then plenty of room here for taking care of business. So walking into the master bedroom, this room is really very, very large. It has a king size bed, plenty of room. It's got little shelves on either side of it. We also like these little windows on either side of the master bed also. Also in here, 
It's got a nice roomy closet, but this can also be where you put your washer and dryer because it's got hookups for the washer and dryer in here as well. Over top of this area is just a big storage compartment. Plenty of room up here. You can put all kinds of things, extra blankets, pillows, winter things, whatever you need. Over on this side of your bedroom, uh, you've got room for a TV, have another window, plenty of room to hang things up, space down below with drawers and, and cabinet doors as well. Good mirror space so you can see yourself get ready. Really, really a very luxurious feel and a fantastic bedroom setup. On the very back of the RV, there's a huge picture window. There's plenty of storage down below and up above, which really adds to the feel of this bedroom setup as well. This luxury fifth wheel is by a new company called Alliance RV, and this is the Paradigm model. It's the 370 front bedroom fifth wheel, and this particular fifth wheel is just full of luxury features. First of all, when you first come into the RV, you enter into the kitchen and living area, but what I really like about this particular layout is the living area isn't really too mixed in with the kitchen. It's really more on its own. So the nice things are you can be sitting on the recliner. And by the way, these things electrically fold out and in. But you can see the fireplace from either seat. You have another uh, sofa here that's a pull-out bed. Good size TV over top of the fireplace. Tons of storage everywhere in this unit. That's one thing that Alliance has really put a lot of emphasis on is making the most of all of the available space. So you've got storage space above, storage space over top of the entertainment center. I mean, it's they've made the most of it all. In fact, you can even pull the fireplace out and there's storage behind it as well. You could store throw pillows or blankets back there, uh, totally safe. But again, they've just tried to maximize all the space that they could in this particular fifth wheel. Let's roll around here to the kitchen area. And you'll notice some really nice features in the kitchen as well. First of all, it has a really great oversized island, nice deep single bowl sink. I like the single bowls personally better than the double bowls because you can get a big pot or pan in here and it, it actually fits. Big old gooseneck faucet, which is fantastic. But one thing you'll notice right away is that the island cabinetry is a darker wood and the main kitchen cabinetry is a lighter wood and this is something that's very popular in higher end kitchens and homes you know in residential settings you'll see the two-tone kitchens with an island being a different color than the main kitchen cabinetry so they've really gone above and beyond in this particular fifth wheel to create that luxurious feeling also it's got a four burner range instead of a three burner full oven, awesome oversized microwave, and then of course we have a residential sized refrigerator as well. Uh, as you can see there's just lots and lots of cabinet space. They even made a little spot over top of the refrigerator. You could keep cookie sheets and things in there. They did the same thing over top of the microwave. I mean anywhere there's a place for you to store things they've managed to work it out. Uh, also really nice sized pantry storage as well. One other nice feature in this luxury RV is the pendant lighting and some of the trim detail in here as well is just really luxurious. It's well lit. It looks really, really rich and beautiful. So right off of the kitchen area, um, let me catch the dinette real quick. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> um, four seats at the dining table. But one thing you'll notice that I also love about this model is just these gigantic windows that are in here. I mean, there are just aren't many RVs with this much window space that's available. And it really opens things up, makes it feel very spacious in here. So off of the kitchen area, you'll also notice this is a nice little feature. You can hang up some jackets here, throw your keys or your phone on top. You can kick your kick your shoes off and throw them underneath here. I mean, it's just a nice little feature that certainly, you know, one of the things that makes this such a luxury fifth wheel. Behind me here, right off the kitchen, we have a half bath. 
and it's a very good size half bathroom lots of vanity storage space big oversized mirror I mean it's like a residential bathroom so let's head on up the steps and check out the master bedroom master bathroom and a gigantic walk-in closet in a fifth wheel that you will not believe so when you first enter into the master bedroom you've got this really nice bench right here maybe you know put your shoes on in the morning sit down relax whatever but inside this bench even more storage space i mean it just never ends in here then we have this nice built-in dresser with plenty of drawers and there's a hideaway drawer as well for your jewelry watches whatever you want in here sort of hide them away above that is a tv that's built in so when you're lounging and laying in bed you can watch some tv in the evening rolling around i want to point out one nice feature is that they have these barn doors in here i mean what a really nice design and it's got the nice hardware to go with it so very very nice setup also featured in the master bedroom we have a king size bed uh, plenty of room usb ports on both sides of the bed little little shelf to put your phone on at night or a drink of water whatever you want to do and then you have a window on either side of the bed and above the bed as well so you can get plenty of fresh air in here lots of nice cross breeze plenty of airflow which I know we love let's head on into the bathroom and check this out now so here I am in the shower in the master bathroom and this is a full five foot shower this is just like what you would find in your in a residence at home so um, it's the first one I've seen with a full five foot shower really really a nice setup I think that this tile is just very very sharp very in style I just remodeled my house before I sold it and I put this kind of tile in my bathroom actually so there you go this isn't really tile but it looks just like the tile I installed in my bathroom at home to help get my home sold but it also has a rain head shower which is just amazing I mean it gives you the feeling of rain falling on you while you're taking a shower another really nice luxury upgrade feature also you know take a look at the seat beautiful teak wood with the shiny chrome uh, finish on it. I mean it just looks really really sharp. Somebody came in here with muddy shoes That's a shame, but anyway the shower just looks Fantastic as you can see this side of the bathroom too is just huge It's got a four and a half foot wide vanity Which again is more like a residential vanity than anything you would normally find in a fifth wheel or any other RV for that matter plenty of cabinet space drawer space and there's even a linen closet over here, which is about a foot and a half deep. So plenty of room inside this bathroom. Um, and it's probably the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in an RV, to be honest with you. We, we think this is completely luxurious. Total thumbs up on this bathroom. I bet you've never seen a walk-in closet in an RV before. Well, this Alliance has one. It is spectacular. Uh, you can walk right into this closet. There's plenty of room, lots and lots of storage. You can hang all of your garments from the hanging bar. There is a laundry cabinet here as well. Really, really amazing. One other nice feature in here is that you've got this big closet area also, which is equipped with a washer and dryer hookup. So you could put a stackable washer and dryer unit in here as well. But seriously have you ever seen a walk-in closet in an rv before we love this model we think alliance is just knocking it out of the park with their floor plans and uh this has to be our favorite rv model that we've seen at the show this year so thumbs up for alliance fantastic product this luxury fifth wheel is the grand design solitude 390 rear kitchen model it's about 41 feet five inches long and it weighs 14,562 pounds. So it's a good size fifth wheel, but it's an amazing design. We just love the rear kitchen models because it does a fantastic job of separating the living area, living area from the kitchen area, and it just has a whole different feel to it. So why don't we take a look up in the kitchen, we'll start a review there, and then we'll work our way through this luxurious fifth wheel. 
So here we are up in the kitchen area, and the first thing you notice is that you've got this sort of pass-through table area. You can sit here, have a meal while you're up in your kitchen, and look across the living area at your TV. So it's a really, really fantastic setup uh, that we think is really, really smart. As we wrap around the kitchen area, you'll notice you've got tons and tons of countertop space in here. You've got your microwave oven built in nice window area but look at all this countertop space it's amazing and you also have all this storage underneath as well in the middle of the kitchen you've got a little island that's very very functional it's got drawers and more storage on this side of the island and then behind me here we have even more cabinet space over top of a gigantic nice big double bowl sink now this is a has one bowl larger than the other bowl, which is a very nice design. Usually you only see a design like this in a residential home, and uh, it's kind of like a sink with a veggie sink on the side of it. So really nice setup in here. But you can just tell the design of these cabinets is very luxurious. It just has a very fine look to it all. It has accent lighting underneath the countertop area. Uh, so it just has a very nice, rich, luxurious feel to it. As we continue through the kitchen, we have a residential sized refrigerator in here. And then over here, we have a three burner stove and a pretty good size oven down below as well. Also in here, uh, even more storage on each side of the oven. And then the pantry area is tremendous. I mean, these cabinets are two feet deep, plenty of storage. And then of course you have slide out drawers for even more space and then on the left hand side over here a place to put cookie sheets and things like that so I think they've done a really great job of trying to think of everything in this kitchen but we really love the way these rear kitchens lay out and just the way they create sort of a separate area from the rest of the fifth wheel so from here we're gonna head on down into the main living area and take a look at that next so here I am down in the center of this fifth wheel now in the main living area and I'm surrounded by three couches and I've also got this wonderful entertainment area here which I absolutely love. It's got a nice big TV over top and then of course you have your sound system here and you have a nice fireplace down below. Now what I really love about this particular enter entertainment system is the stacked stone look that goes all the way above and around the whole entire system. It looks like stacked stone, but it's actually wood. So it's lighter, not, it's lighter than stone would be. But I just think that's a really smart look, very luxurious, not something you would normally see in a fifth wheel, that's for sure. Over here we have a nice comfy couch that also converts into a queen size sleeper bed. In this section of the living area, we have movie theater seating with little tables to have on your lap when you're enjoying a snack, watching TV or watching the fire. These are also electronic reclining chairs, so very nice feature in here as well. And then on this side of the living room, another couch, which also folds out into a, a bed, so you can sleep a lot of people in this fifth wheel. There's a lot, a lot of windows in here, plenty of cross breeze going on in every direction, and uh, we just feel like this living area and kitchen area feel extremely luxurious for a fifth wheel. Now, let's take a walk upstairs and we'll check out the bathroom and the master bedroom next. All right, so here I am in the shower in the bathroom, and this is a really nice sized bathroom that they have in here. This shower is about four feet wide. It's all fiberglass one piece, so it's very, very easy to clean and maintain. It's got a seat built in. It's got triple sliding doors, which are very nice. I really think that's a nice feature to have. The commode is in a great spot. You can sit here and be comfortable, have plenty of elbow room. And then you'll notice this vanity is really huge. I mean, this is about the size of a residential double vanity that you would find. Nice deep sinks instead of shallow sinks, and they're good size as well. Over top, there's a really nice size, full-size mirror here. So you can see yourself when you get ready to go in the day. And then you've got little storage shelves on either side. And of course, there's plenty of storage space down below as well. You can't really see it in here, but to the right next to the shower, there's also additional linen closet storage. So you have plenty of places for extra sheets, pillowcases, blankets, all that stuff. Really good sized bathroom. And uh, let's take a look at the master bedroom next. 
So here we are in the master bedroom, and this is a really good size master bedroom as well. It's got a full king size bed in it. You can fully walk around it. It has a little nightstand shelf on each side so you can charge your phone overnight. Windows above and on each side of this bump out so you can get a little airflow on a nice summer evening. It even has a headboard built in. So nice feature, very luxurious. All the trim is really spectacular in here. Now behind me here we have a very large master closet and this features a really large built-in shoe storage area also a place to hang all your clothes just a really nice size uh, owner's closet in here and then in addition to that we have this big closet which you can either use as a wardrobe closet or it's got a rough in for a washer and dryer so you can put a full-size washer and dryer in here as well finally we end up with our tv over top of a window and then of course we have a nice dresser with a bank of drawers and looky here a hideaway drawer on top so we feel that grand design has done it yet again they've created another amazing luxury fifth wheel we just think they do a fantastic job with their floor plans and all of their design and um, a really nice job paying attention to all the details so Great job on this luxury fifth wheel. This luxury fifth wheel is the Jayco Pinnacle 36 SSWS model. And it is about 40 feet long and it weighs about 12,700 pounds. This is a fantastic luxury RV. We're really, really pleased with what Jayco did in their Pinnacle model. Uh, the kitchen and, and uh, living area are set up really, really well. They're separate from one another, but it's all one big room at the same time. You'll notice in the living area, we have some movie seating with electric controls to extend out the seats and everything. Then we have a nice big comfy couch, which extends into a queen size uh, sleeper sofa. Over here in the entertainment area, we've got our sound system controls above, nice size TV on a televator, and then down below, there's a nice fireplace as well. So uh, nice setup back here. Lots of windows, lots of storage above, windows on both sides for cross ventilation. Just a really nice open airy feel. And we love all this dark rich cabinetry as well. It just gives it a very nice luxurious feeling in here. Uh, in the kitchen area, there's also plenty of room in here. Uh, nice big pantry space. You can see the quality of the cabinet material inside and everything is real wood. It's a, just a super nice setup. Uh, this has a four burner range as opposed to a three burner, and it has a large oven down below, much larger than what you would find in most fifth wheels. Above, we have a really nice uh, microwave, and then they also feature a residential refrigerator in here. I like the island setup as well. It's got the island covers, with a big deep double bowl sink. I like the chrome faucet and it even has an Instahot so you can make your, your tea in the morning. But I love the island setup. Uh, it works really well in this kitchen. And then finally, we have a dinette over here. And the nice thing about the dinette is there's no pole underneath to go ahead and whack your knees on, which nobody likes to whack their knees on the pole underneath. But the setup in here is really fantastic. It's a very luxurious feel. There's all kinds of accent lighting, specialty trim, specialty lighting in here. They just did a really nice job making it feel ultra luxurious. You'll notice the pendant lighting over top of the island as well, and the nice trim piece that it all hangs off of. So just a really fantastic job. Over by the front door, there's additional cabinetry space where you can hang your coats additional storage here another place for you know you can put your keys or you could even put a coffee maker over here whatever you'd like to do with this spot and then more storage down below so i think they maximize everything they can and they do it in a very high quality way why don't we take a walk upstairs for here from here i will show you a luxury master bathroom and a fifth wheel like i guarantee you've never seen before and the master bedroom is pretty tricked out as well so why don't we head upstairs and take a look so as soon as you come up the stairs on the left hand side you have this nice big
closet area. It's got a bar across so you can hang things. So you can use it as a wardrobe type closet, but it also has the hookups for a washer and dryer in here as well. Right across the hallway from this is the master bathroom and you're going to love it. So here I am inside this luxurious fifth wheel bathroom and this shower setup is really fantastic. It's five feet wide, which is the size of a residential shower at home. It's even bigger than some. It's got a really nice faucet system. I love the half wall with the glass. It just creates a nice private feel. And then of course it's got the teak wood seat that you could sit on as well. So just a really cool bathroom setup. Outside of the shower, we have a commode. It's got the soft close lid, uh, really nice high quality, high end commode as well. And then in the vanity area, we have double vanities, plenty of storage underneath, lighted sinks, just all the finer touches. You've got a nice backsplash here. And then of course it's got dual medicine cabinets with a nice large mirror in the middle. The owner's bedroom is gigantic. I mean, this room is huge and it's so luxurious. I mean, it's got this bay window seating section here, nice big window behind me. It's got mirrored storage cabinets on either side. Just a really nice, really nice setup in here. We also have a king size bed, uh, plenty of room to walk around the bed. And there's a little bump out here as well that has a window on either side of it, which I think is really nice. So you can get a cross breeze in here if it's a nice cool evening outside. Now on the other side of the bedroom, just across from your bed, you've got a TV up top, more storage cabinets, another window down below, and then below that, you have a beautiful cabinet with a built-in fireplace, storage on each side, but it's really just a beautiful setup in here. Then we head over here to another wardrobe style cabinet with mirrors in it and drawers down below. So we are just really impressed with this Jayco Pinnacle. We think this fifth wheeler represents everything about luxury that you could possibly be looking for. And we just think it's a really fantastic, luxurious fifth wheel. Let us know which fifth wheel you thought was the most luxurious, or if you know of one that's not in our video, put it in the comments down below too. We would love to go check it out sometime. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click right here and you can check one of them out. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up at the end of the video and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we release a new video every single week. So for Mike and Susan, we'll see you next time.